This video will give you a quick overview of how OnePager works with Primavera P6. OnePager creates automated, data-driven, professional quality timelines and Gantt charts using the data that you already have in Primavera. OnePager can report on one or several P6 schedules at a time, but in this video we'll keep it simple by building a chart from a single P6 project. To get started, we need to decide which activities to include from P6. The easiest way to do this is to insert a user-defined field into your schedule. From the Enterprise menu in P6, go to User-Defined Fields. Then, click the Add button to add a new user-defined field. Name your field One Pager and make sure it's a data type of text, as shown here. Once the user-defined field is set up, you can close this screen. Now, insert the user-defined field into your P6 schedule layout by right-clicking and choosing Columns from the Context menu. Expand the User-Defined category on the left-hand side of the screen, select the OnePager field, and then click the right arrow button to move it to the right-hand side of the screen. You can also change the order of your P6 fields by using the up and down buttons. Once you're happy with the layout, click OK. Place a Yes or a Y next to any activities that you want to include in your OnePager chart. Once you've finished selecting your activities, it's time to export your P6 plan into either an XML or an XER format so that it can be brought into OnePager. Go to File, Export to launch the export wizard. Choose whether you want to export your schedule in XER or XML format. Generally speaking, we recommend XML, but you can experiment with both formats to see which works best for you. Click Next. Select the project or projects that you would like to export. In this example, we're only going to build a single project chart, but if you have multiple projects open in Primavera, you'll have the option to export multiple projects into a single XML or XER file, which can be imported into OnePager. If you plan to display baselines in OnePager, be sure to select a baseline for export as well. Click Next and then confirm the file name and location of your export. If you see that Primavera is about to export a zip file instead of an XML file, it's probably because the Export All Project Level Layouts box is checked. You can uncheck this box to get a straight XML export instead. If you forget to do this, OnePager can automatically unzip the file and get to the underlying XML document as a part of its own import process. Click Finish and P6 will complete your export. With your Primavera P6 project or projects exported, now it's time to bring them into OnePager. Launch OnePager from your desktop or your Windows Start menu. On the Start screen, click New to make a new chart. At the top of the Import Wizard, click on Select and then Browse Primavera P6 files. Locate the P6 file that you want to import and click Open. OnePager is going to filter for XML files by default. If you need to import an XER or a ZIP file, make sure to change the filter so that you can find the correct project. With your P6 project selected, choose a template to drive the look and feel of your chart, or just use the default template that's already selected. Give your chart a title which will be the name of your file when you save it. This section allows you to control which activities from Primavera P6 should be included in your OnePager chart. If you click the drop-down, you'll see several choices. OnePager can automatically bring in any activities from P6, which are the child tasks in your schedule, or it can do the opposite and bring in only WBS items, which are useful if you want a higher level summary. In our case, since we set up a user-defined field with yes values specifically for one pager, we'll choose that. Finally, choose the date of your snapshot, which serves as the status date of your chart. Over time, you can add multiple snapshots to your chart at different dates and track changes as the data is updated back in Primavera. Everything looks good, so we can click Create New Chart to kick off the import from P6 and build the one pager chart. By default, OnePager will place tasks into swim lanes based on their position in the WBS back in Primavera P6. 
This happens automatically without any need to drag and drop or set up special fields. One pager will also initially color code your chart based on the P6 resource assignments. If you're looking to group your swim lanes by a different field, add a secondary swim lane grouping, change your layout from a Gantt chart to a timeline, or maybe color code by activity status or some other field instead of the resource, you'll find that you can modify hundreds of different settings using the Chart Properties button. You can also make minor drag and drop edits in the body of your chart using the toolbar. When possible, we strongly recommend customizing your chart using the Chart Properties button since these edits will be more directly tied to your Primavera P6 activities and WBS and will be easier to standardize later. The real power of OnePager is behind the Chart Properties button, so it's definitely worth exploring on your own or watching our video that covers it in more detail. When you're ready to present, just hit the Copy button on the Home tab, which will place your chart onto the clipboard and make it available to be pasted into PowerPoint or virtually anywhere else. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit OnePager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at OnePager.com.